Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System. Drew here to talk to you today as we kick off August. It's going to be a huge month of sports to watch and wager on and enjoy as we get near the end of the summer here in the Northern Hemisphere. So I hope you are doing well as we kick this month off with some exciting things going on. And today on our little video, I want to talk to you about some of the things to look forward to this month and the things that you can get ready to wager on and get ready to do your research as you prepare for these exciting events. Now, thanks again for tuning in to the Z Code System channel, where we put up videos every week featuring different things from predictions and picks to some of the tools that we offer at Z Code System. So again, thanks for tuning in and to uh, for joining the channel uh, for the day. Uh, and if you could give a like to this video, that would be fantastic, and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything that's happening over at Z Code System, and of course, get those awesome picks and predictions when we post them on the YouTube channel. And of course, you can go over to the Z Code System blog and read about some of the stuff that we post there, including, as you can see, the NBA picks for August 6th with the Heat taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. And as we know that the NBA is back and uh, getting uh, underway, I believe, if I'm not uh, mistaken, the LA Lakers won the NBA Western Conference last night. So some big things going on there. And the Lakers are uh, one of the favorites to lift the NBA Larry O'Brien trophy. So get in on that. Now, before we get started on our little video today, talking about some of the sports to be excited about, I want to draw your attention to one thing on the Z Code System blog. And uh, I'm just going to scroll down right here. And that is the amazing history of Z Code. 10 years of ups and downs. Guys, 10 years, Z-Code has been around delivering picks and predictions to punters all over the world. So you can go over to the website and I encourage you to check out the history of Z-Code. Click on that and to read all about it because Z-Code started back in 2010 and it's still going strong and delivering picks and predictions uh, with its great tools. So go over there and check that out. Now, as promised, let's talk a little bit about some of the sports going on in uh, in August. And to do that, I'm just going to bring up a few slides. Okay, so as you can see there, August is sports events you cannot miss this month. And there is so much going on. I'm super stoked about it. I'm going to be watching sports. Matter of fact, I've been watching sports nonstop for the most part uh, over the last few days. Back when the NBA started back up, uh, June 30th, or sorry, July 30th, um, that kind of kick-started things. The NHL got back, and of course, soccer going on in Europe uh, and other places in the world going strong and getting ready to get even stronger. So there is so much going on. And if you're living in certain uh, areas, I know that uh, from uh, listening to some friends in Canada, they're waking up every day, uh, watching some uh, NHL qualifiers uh, drop the puck around 11 in the morning all the way up until 10 at night or so. So it is a full day, and a lot of people are getting their favorite sport right now um, ad nauseum. So that's great. And, of course, baseball is back. Major League Baseball is back. So there's so much going on right now and definitely more on the way. So let's take a look at some of the things that you can be excited about coming up this month. Now, of course, we've got NHL, NBA both back and in color right now. Soccer going on around the world, and we're getting ready for two major restarts in Europe, and I'm talking about the Champions League and the Europa League. So that's going to be fantastic. That's starting up this week on Wednesday night. And then also we're going to see golf come back with its first excuse me, if it's first major of the year, which is the US PGA Championship. So that is another exciting thing. So golf fans can get excited uh, after the majors were pushed back uh, as they were. Of course, UFC going strong. UFC 252 is coming up. And I'm getting ready for the NFL to jump on board the sports atmosphere. That's not going to happen in August, though, but it's going to happen soon. So get ready for the NFL to return. 
Now, let's take a look at the NHL qualifiers. We've uh, posted a few blogs and uh, posted a few blogs over the last couple of weeks about the NHL. We put some picks up last week. And so far, I'm loving the NHL qualifiers back. Uh, they kicked off or dropped the puck, if you will, on August 1st. And the qualifiers and the round robin are going to lead into the actual NHL playoffs, which will conclude on October 4th with the new 2020-2021 season beginning around December. So this has been a lot of fun for me. Uh, I've been enjoying these games, uh, watching them. I live in the UK, so uh, around 5 o'clock I'm getting to see the first game with the puck dropped. Uh, right now the Florida Panthers and the uh, new uh, New York Islanders are going at it. So getting to watch that right now and uh, pretty much getting to watch some NHL qualifiers go until uh, bedtime <laughs> around 11 p.m. So um, those are going on right now. Um, like I said, I'm enjoying the qualifiers because that's more of a playoff environment. The round robin, not so much. That feels more like what the regular season would be like, teams just jockeying for position. But again, this is a lot of fun to watch. And of course, like I said, the playoffs will come out of this. Um, right now, the qualifiers, if you're watching them and you're paying attention, they're a best of five. And I believe uh, all the teams have played two games, or at least they're starting their second game uh, as, to, as of today. Uh, in those best of five series. So that is going on right now and something to continue looking forward to in August, as well as the NBA. The NBA restarted on July 30, uh, as I said previously, and the playoffs are actually really near. They're going to start on the 17th of August, and the NBA playoffs will then end with the, or at least they're supposed to go up to the, uh, the day of October 13th. So NBA fans are getting a lot of NBA to watch, uh, just like NHL fans are getting a lot of hockey to watch. Uh, now, I've not been watching the NBA quite as much as I have been watching the uh, NHL, but I have uh, been watching a few games or have seen a few games and, um, you know, quite enjoyable. Um, I know that uh, the atmosphere, obviously, for some fans uh, is a little bit different, but um, being that I'm a massive uh, football fan here in Europe and I got used to the uh, the games going on uh over the soccer season, the end of the soccer season, uh, where there were no fans and it was played behind closed doors. It's something that um, I've gotten used to, but I know that others, it'll take some time to get used to. So again, that's going on. Playoffs beating the start uh, and the Lakers already winning the Western Conference. So definitely something to get in on as well as here we go. The PGA Tour Majors and the US PGA Championship is going to tee off this week on Thursday at TPC Harding in San Francisco. And this is the first major of the year because they were all pushed back, uh, unfortunately, because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a great thing to be able to see that these majors are going to actually be played because there was some thought that maybe they wouldn't be. Um, we've got the U.S. Open then coming up on September 17th to the 20th and the Masters, which is going to be played later this year, uh, the November 12th to the 15th. Unfortunately, the Open Championship is not going to be played this year. So that's something that, uh, unfortunately, fans aren't going to get to see in, in uh, the UK. Otherwise, you're going to get to see at least three of the four majors, which is a very exciting thing. And, uh, of course, we all know that the PGA Tour is a long uh, season. And, and, unfortunately, because of uh, golf's uh, innate ability to uh, socially distance its players, we've got to see quite a few uh, tournaments going on this season. So if you're a golf fan, that's something great you've had. And uh, if you're a golf punter, again, something that you've been, something great you've been able to uh, bet on. Uh, and as we go, as I said earlier, the Champions League and the Europa League kick off in Europe. They restart this week. And as you can see, the, the Europa League is restarting on Wednesday the 5th and 6th. And then it will have its final on August 21st. And the Champions League will restart on uh, Friday the 7th and Saturday the 8th, with the final being on August 23rd. Now, this year, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, things have been a little tweaked uh, for the tournament. So when the uh, both leagues, uh, both tournaments actually, uh, they were put on hiatus, they were in the last 16 round. And uh, unfortunately, uh, they were split between some of the teams playing their first leg and the second leg of the series. So on the fifth and sixth, there at the Europa League, we're going to see the second legs of those games uh, take place between the Europa League teams and as well as the Champions League teams will be playing their second leg games 
uh, the teams that have not qualified yet for the quarterfinals, that is, uh, on the 7th and 8th of August. Now, interestingly, um, what they are going to do for the quarterfinals, the semifinals, uh, the quarterfinals and the semifinals is these games are going to be one-off matches rather than the usual two-leg games uh, that they play, uh, where they usually do a home and away series. Uh, and also what they're going to be doing is both tournaments will be played in one hub city, uh, uh, preventing teams from having to uh, travel uh, around Europe. So what we're going to see is the Europa League is going to be played in Germany. Uh, they're going to use a couple of stadiums uh, in Germany. I know Gelsengirchen, the Schalke Stadium is going to be used, and I believe Cologne's um, Energy Stadion is going to be used. And the Champions League is going to descend on Lisbon, where they're going to play uh, at Benfica's home ground as well as Sporting Lisbon's home ground. So we're going to be able to see those games go on. And this week's going to be uh, pretty fantastic, especially in the Champions League with some big games. Man City and Real Madrid going at it, Chelsea and Bayern Munich. Uh, so definitely something that all of the football fans are going to love this month as the major domestic leagues have uh, finished for the year uh, before they start back up in September. Now, UFC 252, we're going to see a fantastic fight between Mich Miacic uh, and Cormier. And I know I'm saying that wrong. It's a very difficult name for me. Uh, Miacic uh, and Cormier are going to go at it in their third fight, the rubber match of their trilogy, um, as Cormier won the first bout between the two before Miacic uh, reclaimed his heavyweight championship in the second bout. Now, that's going to be coming up uh, in just a couple of weeks. Something definitely to stay with there um, to tune into for August because uh, this is going to be a huge heavyweight fight and uh, something definitely that you're going to want to watch and to keep tabs on. And we'll have some information up on um, up on the website uh, before we get to that. Uh, going back to the last UFC, UFC 251, when we posted on there, we were brilliantly two for two in our picks uh, for the title fights on that night. So stay with us and we'll be posting on that. Now, guys, thank you for tuning into the video. If this was your first time checking out, if you were just browsing through, please uh, hit subscribe and like this video. And you can stay up to date on everything we do at Z Code System, as well as uh, stay up to date on the blogs that we write over there. And if you have come back again and tuning into the channel to see what's up, Guys, thanks for doing that. Stick with us. We love having you. And if you want to, comment down below. Let us know what sports you're looking forward to uh, in August. And let us know about some of the things that you want to see here on our YouTube channel. Maybe some of the sports or the games that you want to see us preview. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you have a great day and you're looking forward to all the sports coming up to wager on. And we'll see you soon here at Z Code System.